The shaking is normal. It's just a side effect of the haloperidol. Are you all right? When she first came here, she remembered me every few days. Then every few weeks. It's the first time in three months. She was there and then she was gone again. You know, night confusions are a part of the disease. The nurses, they call them sundowners. Lots of screaming, paranoid fantasies. Nobody really knows why it happens at night. It's just the brain shutting down, I guess. Yeah. So if you don't mind me asking, how did it start? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I started with her asking the same questions over and over. She'd forget where she put her car keys. She'd forget her neighbor's name. I took her to the doctor when I found her in a car less than a mile away. Allie? Allie, what is it? What's wrong? What is it? She couldn't remember how to get home. I'm sorry to tell you this, Allie, but you're in the early stages of Alzheimer's. When we went home, she went to work with a vengeance. She wrote her will. She left burial instructions. She wrote letters to the children. Okay, have something for you. That notebook is all about us. How we met each other, how we parted, how we got back together again. How we've loved each other. In a few years, I won't remember any of it. And when that happens, I want you to read it back to me. It doesn't make any difference where I am or where my mind is. Just read it to me. I promise you, if it is humanly possible, I'll come back to you. It's a remarkable story. Yes, it is. Of course, little by little, it's become a very complicated arrangement, the reading the notebook. If she knows too soon that I'm uh, Noah and she's Allie, then she becomes terribly afraid. Of course, it's hardest on the children. When they come to visit, they have to treat her like they just met her. She becomes... Uh, she becomes... She becomes what? Hysterical? Mr. Calhoun? <laughs>